Alrighty, we're on to the second part of post commentary. So here you found the toy knife. Uh, we just don't even bother to take it because we don't need weapon. Or do we take it? Yeah, the toy knife. Uh, so that's a weapon. We'll never use it. So it's garbage. So that's the weapon you'll use if you're doing a middle run. Middle run is sort of the worst of both ends. You don't get the happiest ending. You don't get the worst ending. You just get an ending. Depending on how much you kill. Uh, but. So many us. But not any but us. Which. Uh, that kind of makes me happy. Anyway. If you are. I believe at this point. If you have killed everything and are, you know, quotes, locked into a genocide run. There's something underneath my screen and I want to get it. Looks like a sticker. Become my new focus. Your keys. I need your pointed edge. Okay, nope, screen's going up. Very nice, it's tilting. Do not break your screen. Anyway, if you're locked into the genocide room and you go to the kitchen, I believe you can find the a real knife. There's an actual knife that will be your weapon for the rest of the game. Uh, like, I think you go in there and there's like a pie, and the pie still has the knife that's used to cut it. Um, yeah, uh, just looked online while the other one was processing, and they have spoiled some more Pokemon. Which is pretty cool. Lots of electric types. Electric is apparently coming back in a big way. Which is good because that's one thing I noticed is there isn't like, there's not shit for electric Pokemon. Like it turns out the uh, the bug starter becomes bug electric. They spoiled this like steel electric mouse. What else they spoil? Like a bug fairy. A dragon normal type which seems really stupid but whatever because who doesn't want a dragon weak to fighting but immune to ghost I guess I think a weakness to fighting is much worse than immunity to ghost attacks though I don't know maybe it'll turn out to be a beast with like stab return and outrage or something I don't know that's like the only thing normal has going for it is return and uh, I guess facade if it has guts that could be a decent set. Facade, Outrage, maybe some Double D, some Dragon Dancing. Hold me closer, Dragon Dancer. Um, I'm, I'm not talking about the game like I said it was in the last one, but oh well. I'm sorry. Ah, gotta caffeinate up. One second, actually, let me get up. I'll still talk, but I won't be able to pay attention to the screen. I'm gonna grab my cell phone. And put it beside me in case someone decides they need to talk to me during the ever so important process of making the post commentary. I don't even need to wear headphones. I don't know why I thought I had to wear headphones because sweet. Uh, but I mean, <laughs> I don't get to hear any of it. So yeah, I was talking to my roommate. I'm like, God damn, I hate doing post commentaries. And he's always like, well, if you don't want to watch it, why would they want to watch it? And the answer is because, one, they haven't seen me do it yet. I was there when I did it. I know what I do. Uh, but two, I have to watch it at the size of probably like a sixteenth of my screen with no sound. And that sucks. But I'll suck it up. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a regula? Interesting. Yeah, well, bother me if you need anything else. Alright, so you gotta ask her, how do you leave the ruins? She says, I have to do something, stay here. And off she goes. I mean, to be fair, I'm not quite sure 
I guess your character is determined to leave. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Go ahead. Or ahead of us lies the exit of the rooms one way exit the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again, and I'll be a good child and go upstairs. And I'm not sure what actually happens if you go upstairs, but I, I don't bother to find out. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, as Gola, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. I'm not sure what I was doing here. Maybe something distracted me. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Then there's the door. You want to leave so badly? Humph. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. So this is the first boss fight of the game against Toriel. So this boss fight's actually super hard, but um, well, you'll see in a second. I end up wasting almost everything I've got. But yeah, like I'm not quite sure. I just like dodge that shit. So here I live and eat the monster candy. I kind of saved the spikes. Honestly, talking does not seem to be the solution to this. But some of our moves you can dodge. Just some of them are goddamn mess. But yeah, I believe you're starting to spare. Yeah, sparing is the secret to ending the fight if you're going to go that way. I see now there's a safe space in the middle. Turned out to be a bit of a waste. Uh, you'll, you'll see why. The tutorial, I don't think, can actually kill you. She's too much of a sweetheart. Now she's noticing that I'm not. Here you can just see she's so nice, she won't touch you, she won't hurt you. She was trying to protect you, but she's not willing to actually like destroy you. And just by being refusing to fight her. That's her weakness. She's too nice. You can't just kill some innocent child. Please go upstairs now. Yeah. No point in talking. Yeah, she doesn't even attack now. I know you do not have much, but. Is it not? You cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You 
could just be unhappy trapped in here. The ruins are very something. It would not be right for you to grow. That's it. That's my expectations. My loneliness. My fear for you, my child. This is to go. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. And she hugs you. I believe if you fight her, the way it works is you do very low damage until half, and then at half, you one-shot her. But I can never kill anyone in this game. They're all too nice. That's the problem. You, you really gotta work if you want to kill them. Because, like, they're not unlikable characters in this game. Alright, oh yeah, and then at this point, Fly will discuss what you're doing. So, clever, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hee hee hee. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plane isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. He does that laugh. Um, but yeah. So he's basically saying he's like, he understands you're going for the pass route, but what are you going to do when it's very hard to beat someone without hurting them? Because it is harder to beat most of the bosses by uh, pacifying them than by than just killing them. Because most bosses you can kill in a couple hits. They're not very strong. And that ends the intro of the game. And scream. I was about to say, I can know when the screen's coming up because I can see when the music picks up. Um, but yeah, that, that's sort of the difficulty of the pacifist run. Yeah, you can like inspect the stick. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Then it breaks. I was going to say, go back and inspect it, don't I? It's been smashed like it was nothing. So whoever did it was really strong. Then... Yeah, there's a shadowy figure back there. And then... I don't think anything else happens here at the bridge. Yeah, and then he shows up. Sans the skeleton. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Then, uh, fart sound. Yeah. I can see the two little peaks in the sound there. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. <laughs> and that's Sans, Sans the skeleton who speaks in comic sans. But you know, I don't really care. So, yeah, he's, he's the laid-back skeleton, everyone knows his shtick, super nice in the pacifist run, super mean in the genocide run. He's probably the biggest NPC, he's the one who, if you do a middle ending, he'll like call you on your cell phone and tell you how things are. Um, yeah, you hide behind the conveniently shaped lamp, and Papyrus shows up. You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. <laughs> you just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you wanna look? No. I don't have time for that. But if a human comes through here. These two are probably my favorite part of the game. I don't know, Metaton's also pretty funny, but I think these two are pretty silly. I get things that others are respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. 
But there's also just the great music. I really think that's what makes Undertale the game it is. Is all the music, always changing, and always so nice. A scary tongue. Oh yeah, it zooms in on him when he makes puns. Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <laughs> I feel like I can relate to that a lot. I feel like you're smiling and it's like, I am, but I'm so angry. Down to the bone! Whoa! <laughs> Put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Those two are just great. Inspect everything in this game because there's a lot of hidden jokes just by talking to stuff. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. And then he goes the wrong way. So there's a save point. I thought I would end it here. I think I might fight a boss. Snow in. Uh, alright, you saved. Keep moving. Alright, so the little chest is storage. Yeah, this is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. So this is storage. There's just storage boxes throughout the game. You can put away stuff. I believe we put away... I believe toy gloves also, or tough gloves also a weapon. Tough glove, yeah, weapon. We'll warn people out of glove for five finger folks. So I believe I just put that back, because we don't want any weapons. Because you can fight stuff without killing it, so hypothetically we could accidentally punch something. I believe you want to make... I've heard that. These guys, I believe you wait for them to make a joke and then you laugh at it, and that's what they're waiting for. You laugh at Snow Jay before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? I think the best way really to do these guys is to just mercy them until it's a joke. You booed the Snow Jay. This won't be funny either. This one I think ends pretty promptly at 20 minutes, so. Make a bad ice pun. Ah, uh, nice try. Yeah, I need to stop making the puns because it makes him say stuff other than the puns. You laugh at him before he says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Yeah. So I guess you're supposed to just mercy him and go. Yeah, he said something like, better not snow something, so now I think I can laugh. No, no, no. Laugh. This won't be funny. Yeah. There's a struggle here. I think I figured it out after this one, though. I mean, I know it now, so obviously. This team convenient fights your cat audience. My favorite ice cereals, Frosted. There. I think at this point I understand now I should laugh. Please just laugh. Laugh. There you go. See? Laugh. Dad was wrong. <laughs> yeah, I probably knew after this fight because of how long it took. There we go. And then I swear, yeah. We go to save. This the convenience of this lamp still feels like determination. And do I bother to No. Oh my god, why is the video fucking up? Oh yeah, I do this. It's a fishing rod fixed to the ground. Reel it in. Yes. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. You send the line back out. Yeah, and then I think... Oh, I do this? Oh, I think I'm gonna cut it in the middle of it. So there's nothing about him dying. 
Sounds, oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Sans, I finally did it. And I'm the... I'm gonna... I'll be so popular, popular, popular! Ahem. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then... I'm not sure what to do. In any case, continue only if you dare. Yeah. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye sock out for you. Alright, and that's gonna be the end of this episode, because here's where I cut it. So see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye!